Good afternoon, Finger Puppet Management TV. Today we will be going over the rational decision making model. We will use a decision that the Khaleesi from Game of Thrones hat needs to make in order to control her dragons and maintain the popular support of the people that she is ruling. The, first, the rational decision making model has seven steps to it. The first step is to identify a problem. Khaleesi already has the support of her people and is getting ready to demand a battle for the Iron Throne to make her the ruler of all the lands. Her people come to her. They say, Khaleesi, your dragons are going crazy. They're burning down our crops. They're eating our goats. They're messing all of our stuff up. We need you to do something about this because we're beginning to think that you're not the best leader and that you're unable to control your dragons. We can't just have your dragons running all over the place eating all the cows, burning down all our crops. So the Khaleesi realizes that there is an issue now. So step two of the rational decision-making model is to develop objectives and criteria. Khaleesi understands that there is the issue, like I just said. Um, she needs to fix this issue properly. In order to do that, she holds a conference with her trusted advisors. She looks at her advisors and says, guys, we really need to solve this. My dragons, they're going all crazy. They're running around, eating people's cows, burning up goats, messing up everybody's stuff. And we're starting to lose the support of the people. And if we do that, we are not going to be able to obtain the Iron Throne. Together with her trusted advisors, they partake in step three, which is generating alternatives. They put together different options and how to control their dragons. One of the options is to just do nothing and let the dragons run free. Uh, if they do that, there is a high potential that the dragons will continue to eat all the cows and goats and stuff and possibly ruin all of the support that she has with her people. Another option is to reach out and see if there are any dragon handlers in the area. Is there somebody that can come in uh, that can teach it how to sit, probably, preferably offer some treats, maybe teach it some obedience, make it a good dragon instead of a dragon that flies around and eats everything. Uh, teach it. Teach it the ways, the ways of a disciplined dragon. The fourth alternative will be to lock the dragons in a cave underneath the castle. That way they can't do anything, they can't get out, they can't eat nobody's goats, they can't mess with nobody's cows, they can't do any of that stuff. So step four, once you have generated alternatives, is to analyze those alternatives. She simply cannot just let them run free because all they're going to do is continue to eat all the cows and the crops, kill all the goats, mess up all the people, and there she's a surefire way to lose the support of all of her people. She sends out people to look for dragon handlers. Uh, the data comes back and they realize that there are no dragon handlers in Slaver's Bay. All the dragon handlers that used to be in Slaver's Bay have been eaten by the dragons and they are, there's just not an abundance of them anymore. So that, that option is not viable anymore. So it looks like the only option they have left is to keep the dragons in a cave underneath the castle. So now that she has analyzed all her alternatives, she has looked at the data, she has sat with her advisors, uh, now she must select an alternative. She decides that it's going to be best to lock them in the cave to ensure the safety of her people, the crops and the cattle. She explains to the dragons, said, you've been bad, so I'm going to lock you up in the cave. You shouldn't be flying around, eating everybody's crops, killing all the cattle, turning all the goats into ash. You can't do that stuff because now everybody's mad at me and now i got to lock you up in a cage underneath my castle in a cave because you've been bad. So now she has selected what the alternative is that she wants to do. So the next step is to implement that alternative. The mother of dragons gathers all of her dragons up. She takes them into the cave underneath the castle. She puts chains around her necks and she talks to them. She says, look guys, I told you I was going to do this. Uh, now I have to do it because you have been bad. You have ruined the support of the people. So now I have to lock you up. 
there's some tears, there's some hugs, the dragon's sad, the people are sad, everybody's all sad, there's a lot of tears, somebody's waiting for someone to get eaten, but nobody does. All in all, it turns out all right. The dragon will lay there in the dark and cry. She asks the dragons if they're okay. They make some inaudible dragon noises that nobody understands but Khaleesi. And then she pets them on the snout, and then she leaves. Once she leaves and has implemented her decision, she has to engage in the final step of the rational decision-making model, which is to evaluate her results and monitor that. So she gets up in front of her people. She says, hey guys, I understand and I heard your issues that you have brought forth to me and I have decided to put my dragons up. So your, the dragons will no longer be flying the skies, eating up all your stuff and making life horrible for you. They cheer, they clap, they're like, yay, thanks Khaleesi, that's the best thing you've ever done for us. And then she has to, she decides, you know what, since you guys reacted so well to my decision, I will compensate everyone who has been affected by the dragons. And I will pay them double in gold for the losses of their resources. Now some of the other people are really happy, some people are crying, they're passing out, they're super happy, everything's wonderful. And her support continues to increase. So, as you can see, she utilizes all seven steps of the rational decision-making process and to create or to fix her dragon issue and to continue the support of her people. She identifies that there is a problem. The problem is that the dragons are flying around eating everybody's stuff. Um, she develops objectives to fix this issue. She generates a couple alternatives. Do I let them run free? Do I put them in a cave? Do we find a dragon obedience trainer? Uh, once she generates those, she goes into step four, which is to analyze her alternatives. Um, she gathers some data, realizes that all the all the dragon trainers have been eaten before in the past and there's no more left. She decides that she, she can't let them run free because that's not going to solve anything. So she decides to put them in a cave. Um, by deciding to put them in a the cave, she goes into step five, which is selecting that alternative. She puts them in a cage. Or the cave everybody's all sad they cry a little bit they make some weird dragon noises she cries they cries they hug it out everything's cool and then she gets in front of the people to let them know that she has come to a conclusion she has implemented this decision and now would like to monitor her process and see how the support of the people have increased or gotten worse so that is using the rational decision-making model for Game of Thrones Khaleesi. I hope you have learned something today. Thank you.